Have you ever entered a building during its construction phase and seen a shear wall inside of the building? All right, so uh, as you can see in this plan, right? So there is the shear wall at this portion here and here you can see the shear wall, right? Okay, so we have been taught that shear wall is made in order to resist the literal force, right? For example, if this is your soil and this is open surface and you make the shear wall over here, then it will help to you know, resist this literal force, right? but inside of the building right so suppose if this is your building plan right if you have shear wall here what is the purpose of this shear wall so why we need shear wall though we don't have any literal force over here okay so the question is that we don't have this kind of literal force but we have got the other kind of literal force that is the earthquake load or maybe the wind load in windy areas right may or wind load okay so what happens is that the structural designer so once he you know and models the building and analyzes it and designs it he checks for the lateral displacement of the building okay so uh, for example if this is your building and he checks uh, how much by how much this building displaces by the application of the earthquake load okay so if this displacement within is within the permissible limit then there is no problem but if this displacement is higher than the permissible limit so what happens is that the designer has to increase the increase the stiffness of the building so in order to do that what he does is so he adds the shear wall which helps to increase the stiffness of the building all right so the shear wall the basic purpose of the shear wall that is inside of the building is to increase the stiffness in order to reduce the lateral displacement or you can say a lateral uh, sway of the building and they increase the stability stability of the building right. so uh, one thing that should be considered in mind is that so if this is your you know a uh, floor plan and you got walls like this all right so if you got a shear wall over here then you need to have shear wall over here as well and this is the best method to you know add any shear wall in a building so you need to have these shear walls placed in a symmetrical fashion all right so they must be in a symmetrical fashion not you know like you have a shear wall here and another shear wall here not that random fashion okay so if you have a shear wall here then you need to have the shear wall here as well okay you can have uh, you know openings in these shear walls right so if i if you see the elevation of this uh, you know this portion only so this is your wall right and suppose that you need to you know put a door over here then you can have a door here but uh, the openings in the shear wall must be as small as they can be right so they shouldn't be uh, very large enough right so because this will interrupt the flow of force in these walls okay all right so uh, so this is the reason why the buildings have the shear walls inside of them and i uh, hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care